Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. A stabbing just before 2 a.m. along 2nd Street led to a police standoff nearby. The suspect finally surrendering to police. Police say the victim has non-life-threatening injuries. In Citrus Heights, a shots fired call led to a standoff. The suspects barricaded themselves with firearms in an apartment behind Sunrise Mall. After a lengthy standoff, all three suspects in the apartment were taken into custody. A 42-year-old man dead after an overnight shooting on Greensboro Court in Stockton. No arrest has been made. Anyone with information about the shooting is urged to contact Stockton Police. Cal Fire battled this house fire overnight in Colfax along Grandview Avenue. The fire was contained to the home and nobody was hurt. The cause is under investigation. The death toll from a Russian missile strike on an apartment building in southeastern Ukraine has risen to 30. Crews worked through the frigid night, scrambling to pull survivors from the rubble of the wrecked multi-story building. It's the most civilian deaths in a single strike since late September. Puerto Rico's government plans to privatize electricity generation as the U.S. territory faces chronic power outages. The move was announced today. Puerto Rico's Electric Power Authority has long been accused of corruption, mismanagement, and inefficiency, and holds $9 billion in public debt. In Russia, temperatures plunged to nearly 60 below zero in a Siberian city known as the coldest city on Earth. One business owner there sells frozen fish at a market without the need for a freezer or fridge. The new rules in the Missouri legislature require female legislators and staff members to wear a jacket such as a cardigan or blazer. Republicans said that it was done to ensure decorum and mirror the men's dress code. America has a new billionaire after someone matched all the numbers to win the $1.35 billion Mega Millions lottery jackpot. The hometown gas and grill in Lebanon, Maine sold that winning ticket, the state's first jackpot winner. The Harlem Globetrotters will take over Golden One Center tomorrow night after a stop in Stockton last week. Shows are set for 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. Monday. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.